It may be months before sports betting is implemented in Pennsylvania, but one thing is already in place, a tax approved by the state legislature last fall. And it turns out to be the highest tax on sports betting in the nation. Money editor John Delano has the story. When sports betting comes to Pennsylvania, at least for the casinos, this state will have the highest tax rate in the nation. It's not even close. Most of the states are somewhere between 10 and 20 percent. Nevada is at around 7 percent, and we're going to be at 34 percent plus an extra 2 percent, 36 percent, and that does include the federal excise tax as well. Chuck Berry, who teaches sports entertainment at Point Park University, says the high tax is not likely to deter the casinos from getting into the lucrative sports gambling business. Maybe, but I doubt it. Illegal sports gaming is already estimated to be a $150 billion industry, and it can only grow when legalized. Gaming companies have complained that Pennsylvania's 36% tax is much too high compared to the 10% tax over the state line in West Virginia. They're going to complain about it, but at the end of the day, they have a choice. They can decide not to participate in, the, in this type of gaming. There'll be 10 or 9 or 10 or 11 other entities that would participate here. Under Act 42, the casinos are the only outlets who can apply for a $10 million license fee to provide sports gambling at the casinos or online sports gambling through an app. As for the state tax, it's paid by the casino out of their profits, not the person betting. That tax is not going to impact the individual better. But the devil is in the details of sports betting regulations yet to be written, says Barry. Pennsylvania is still a ways off from implementing sports betting under Act 42 passed late last year. The Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board says it will take its time to implement the best rules and regulations to protect Pennsylvanians who bet on sporting events. We want to do this thing right and we're not going to rush through it. John Delano, KDKA TV News.